we started the brewery three years ago and started as a brewery three years ago and uh, started distilling last year 2014. Yeah, we started off uh, with a range of beers uh, that were really uh, sat, uh, looking to satisfy uh, the needs of the local market uh, and uh, the visitors to the town and have uh, quickly grown into uh, making beers for a number of markets around the world, world including China, Canada uh, and uh, as far away as, uh, as uh, over the border in England. The idea to start the brewery um, it came from a conversation which we had with uh, Pete Coors who owns the biggest single site brewery in the world uh, uh, over in uh, Golden in Colorado. Uh, we had this idea uh, when Pete was very surprised that there was no brewery or distillery anywhere near St Andrews and uh, he was found this very very strange and uh, uh, when I started looking into how uh, wh or why this might be I realised that it was because literally there is no places around St Andrews where you can actually make anything uh, or where there is any planning approval to do this and so that was a difficulty. Um, so finding a location was a problem uh, and then we came across uh, this old uh, site which had been a paper mill, mill had closed down in, t in 2008 and uh, previously we discovered had been a distillery and a brewery 150 years ago. I love our bourbon beer, it's uh, matured in uh, American uh, bourbon barrels uh, for a period of around 60 days. Uh, it's a lovely toffee, uh, vanilla, um, very smooth, uh, uh, easy drinking beer. Dangerous beer though because it's uh, often over 7% in alcohol. Most popular one, probably our, our 19th brew, which is most famous because it's drunk a lot around here in, in St Andrews, called the 19th. It's uh, easy drinking, uh, ideal post-golf refreshment. Uh, we have a seasonal beer which we brought out for the Open this year which is called the Golf Pale Ale GPA and uh, it's one which we think will be selling very well around the summer in St Andrews. Gin really is really exciting for us. Gin uh, is something which we uh, didn't set out with the aim of producing gin but uh, we've got a team of distillers who were very very excited about what they could do uh, with this new and exciting uh, category of gin and uh, I think they've, uh, they've proved me wrong, they've produced some outstanding gins. We do five different gins at the moment, um, two of them are, are what we call our seasonal gins, our love gin and our golf gin. Uh, the golf element of the golf one is, uh, is interesting actually, yeah, we, um, we've had a good partnership over a period of time with St Andrews Golf Company, uh, who produced those famous hickory uh, shafted golf clubs. So the combination of the fact that the St Andrews Golf Club using their hickory shafted golf clubs and this growth and interest in what hickory can do in terms of uh, spirit uh, production, we decided to use uh, some hickory from St Andrews Golf Club Company uh, in the development of our uh, golf gin. In whiskey we've been involved in, in two areas uh, so far. Firstly we made our first, our cast, our first spirit which will become whiskey in three years time. Uh, we cast that in November 2014 and we're producing roughly one hogshead per day. One of the things that we do which we think is, is, is different, we think it's unique actually, is we allow people to come and craft their own whiskey with us here. They can come down, choose the kind of barley they want to use for their whiskey with the advice of the distillers, choose the kind of wood they want to mature their whiskey in and literally create something that's bespoke to the style of whiskey they like to drink.